first, we configured the tool to find the best set of an animation operations that met our privacy and utility goals, using a sample of the data as input. We need to add the different animation operations to be performed to each column in the data set. From these settings, the tools will create different animation configurations that can be applied to the data or working points. As you can see, the configuration process is long and tedious, but the configurations tool aims to ease the process by guessing the data types or setting default operations. Next, we introduce the privacy and utility metrics to be computed. The privacy metric allows us to measure what is the remaining privacy of the data, which is an animation configuration, while the utility metrics measure the usability that the data retains. The analysis configuration is saved into a file, with its used later to calculate the metrics for each configuration. We can easily visualize and explore the analysis results to choose the desired animation configurations to apply the full database. As we can see in this case, Working Point 21 achieved the desired privacy while it still preserving the utility of the data. The last step is to apply the desired configurations to the database. As we can see, the database can stay personal data. We introduced an animation configuration into the tool and the details of the input and output databases. In addition, we add the privacy or utility threshold that the anonymized data must meet. Once the process is completed, we can see that the destination database is fully anonymized with a selected configuration.